Oh, hi, Brianna. We're talking about 13-year-old Jahai McMath. As we all know, this is a, a teenager who went to Oakland Children's Hospital to have her tonsils removed, and then she wound up brain dead. Well, the family wanted to keep her on life support, and they went to the court system to make sure that she could remain on life support. Well, today the judge heard from another expert in this matter, uh, and the judge, the bottom line here, determined that she is, in fact, brain dead. However, life support will continue for this teenager at least until December 30th. That's going to give the family some time to appeal uh, if they want to appeal and also, of course, process this information. This is what Jahai's uncle had to say just a short time ago. As far as accepting them, I don't know if we've accepted, accepted them yet. Like I said, there's still time, you know, for that miracle. Uh, Christmas is tomorrow, so it would be great if she woke up tomorrow. Um, but overall, I mean, with, with my faith and background, you know, eventually we will be accepted if that, you know, if the worst case scenario did come about. So the family obviously hoping for some kind of Christmas miracle. Uh, the bottom line, though, Brianna, is you've had a number of experts who have come in and examined this teenager, and they've all determined that she is, in fact, brain dead. So the question now is, what does the family do? Are they going to appeal? This is how the lawyer answered that question. So in terms of the family's rights to appeal, I think it's first important to know that that process couldn't even begin until 15 minutes ago. And that what this case represents legally is that parents can say no when a hospital says we're pulling the plug. So we know that Jahai will remain on life support until December 30th. After that, uh, it, it seems at least at this point that, that life support will, will be removed. Again, this is such a, a tragic case uh, for everyone involved. We're talking about a girl who just wanted to have her tonsils removed. Obviously, some terrible complications, and we don't know exactly what, what happened uh, in the operating room. Obviously, there, there were some terrible complications, and, and, and we're left with this, with this really unfortunate situation. Brianna? Yeah, so many answers yet to come. Dan Simon for us. Thanks so much.